Hello and welcome to another stream. My name is Ray and it is Learning Korean Day 93 and we will finish up lesson 10 today. Yesterday we have already done a big part of lesson 10. We didn't manage to quite finish it because I had to leave on time. Uh, and yeah, there's only a, bit, a little bit left and we will do that today. And then do the practice video, maybe the first one today as well. So that is the plan. And here we have our memorize is not correct, but here we have our <laughs> how to study Korean.com. Uh, there we go. And we go to lesson 10. So two days ago, we learned about the Korean numbers, the, the different numbering systems, Sino-Korean numbers, pure Korean numbers. We learned about counters, how to use counters, the number zero. And then yesterday we learned about the, uh, like we had, we had different counters here, counter for things, people. And then we learned more counters for, uh, basically for verbs, like I did something five times stuff like that um, that was this one pon that we learned yesterday and then we started learning about the time so that is uh, she for the hour she is basically the hour counter and pun pun is the minute counter yeah we had a lot of example sentences uh, You can use like the, the numbers, you can use the, the Hangul, but overall it does not really matter. Yeah. There's a space between the number and the counter, That's that does matter I guess. And yeah, finally yesterday we learned about the H. And the H part was, yeah, was it, yeah, it, it, it's wasn't really confusing, but um, you basically use the pure Korean numbers before you're around 30 or 40, but if you're older than that, you use the Sino-Korean numbers, so you have to switch between numbering systems depending on how old the person is, so that's a bit confusing, but overall was pretty fine. We learned this. How old are you? Okay. And oh, we also checked this chapter. So we are almost finished anyways. Um, yeah, we started this chapter yesterday, but we did not finish this chapter. So let's see. Mm. Yeah, my first car, my first friend. Then we learned that for child or for children, you don't really need to say children. You just say like my first, my second, my third. Uh, if you want to talk about your children. Our second is a high school student. Stuff like that. Um, Yeah, actually a lot of content to be honest. Uh, how to use uh, the numbers in or the first, second, third thing in um, how do you say that? Uh, uh, like if you list stuff, if you have a list of things you want to describe, you how you use that, and yeah, we actually learned. Um, in contrast to English, where you have first, second, and third, which are three different words compared to one, two, and three, and then four, four, five, and so on, you only add the th. But for the first three, it's different in English, but in Korean, only the first one is different. So for Korean, you have this uh, uh, chop, and for all the other numbers, you just say the number itself with that uh, J 
counter so that means uh, second and then we have third and fourth and all the same words as the numbers itself except the first one okay oh yeah then we 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 also learned about the last so the final meal yeah on, on, only meaning final not something like last night that's not the, the same last but if you have like multiple things and you want to talk about the final one of those things you can use this one Majimak yeah last night of our trip was the best yeah okay yeah I think th this is where we stopped yesterday so yeah actually right here so just wanted to read the examples I think this is my last class oh wait 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 this this I, I think I didn't read yesterday the second example yeah so here the last night of our trip was the best the second example is where you use uh, Majimak because you're referring to the final night yes I will introduce you how you can refer to a previous thing in the next lesson okay okay let's look at some examples E Hugo Sin. Hi Flo. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Igor Sin. So like this thing, this. Igo Sin Joe Mai Majimak class swap uh last and swap class yeah to be so this my last class is okay 이것은 저의 마지막 수업이에요 이것은 저의 마지막 수업이에요 I didn't see the last thing. I didn't see the last one. The last one. The last thing. So we, here we need a uh, cot again, I guess. Chonin, I, Majimak, final or last. Kossel, Kossel, thing. And then we have the an bossoyo. 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 An bossoyo. 저는 마지막 것을 안 봤어요. An bus. It very it sounds very like bus and not boas. So this o that is here, it's very non-existing very silent 저는 마지막 것을 안 봤어요 봤어요 and uh, you have to I, 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 I heard that this R here in the end gets connected to the N despite being a space here that's also very interesting to me 저는 마지막 것을 안 봤어요 것을 안 것을 안 안. 것을 안 저는 마지막 것을 안 봤어요. Also sounds like Ram with an M. 저는 마지막 것을 안 봤어요. I'm not sure if I can trust this audio sample. <laughs> this sounds like an M. This gets connected despite a say, uh, space being there, and here the O is not pronounced. So I will just continue. Uh, in these examples, uh, Majimax used as a descriptive word, even though there's, uh, it's not an adjective in its original form. Yeah, it doesn't end in da. Cannot be conjugated. Words can be used this way in English as well. Yeah. 
last night. Yeah, yeah, of course. The word face is a noun, but the sentence I put on face paint, the word face describes the type of paint you used. And this is a computer room, yeah. Computer describing the room. Yeah, I guess so. I I, I, I wouldn't really compare it with adjectives. But I mean, I'm German, so in Germany we have these compound words where you have like multiple nouns bunched together. So for us, computer room would be just like one word. Um, but even in English, you just have several nouns right after each other and just with a space in between, but it's also like several nouns. Yeah, so it's definitely used, but I never heard before that you would say the first one is like an adjective. You just say it's like a compound noun. Anyways, okay, so Majimak is final or last. Okay, and this one we have not checked yesterday, I think. Here we stopped. So this is also the last one in the lesson 10, okay. Uh, Jolm, Jolm, first time. Jolm is a very complex word that can be used in many situations. I have been studying Korean for years and still don't know how to use it perfectly in all situations. Okay. Can be used in sentences when you're talking about the first time something is being done. Can be used as a noun or adverb depending on situation. Jolme. Jolme. At first, in the beginning. I didn't like that girl at first. Okay. Yeah, okay. Or put it in a sentence as an adverb to indicate this is the first time something has happened. I met my teacher for the first time yesterday. John in or J Sonsing Nimir Sonsing Nimil Mil Song Sonsing Nimil Ul Okay John in or J Sonsing Nimil Jom Manasoyo. Jonun Oje Sonsing Nimu Chom Manasoyo. Jonun Oje Sonsing Nimu Chom Manasoyo. Jonun Oje Sonsing Nimu Chom Manasoyo. Jom. Okay. I will go to the uh, to Korea the first time tomorrow. John in Nail Hanguge Chom. What is. Ah, I w ah okay, it's uh, future again, of course. Kai <laughs> Kosimnida. <laughs> Kalkosimnida. Chonin Neil Hanguge Kolm Kalkosimnida. Chonin Neil Hanguge Tom Kalkosimnida. Okay. You have gotten this far, you can't stop now. Haha. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> The learning curve now is still fairly steep, but it will get much easier in the future. Oh, really? Is that true? I, I, I'm not sure if I can believe that. Uh, as I keep saying, have a good solid base in the funda uh, fundamental grammar concept of Korean will help you tons later on. Yes, okay. 
I got it, take me to the next lesson, click here for the workbook workbook to go along with this lesson. It's five euro, right? Five dollar. What do you mean I don't think so? Okay, that was lesson 10. It's getting easier. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I guess. I guess. But he, he I, you know, at least he's trying to get some like motivation in here. And he's al already saying the sentence, you can't stop now, you've gotten this far. Because he assumes that the reader actually is close to a mental breakdown and wants to stop the whole learning thing so <laughs> he's already preventing this and then he's trying to get some motivation in so he's he's really trying to to be very empathic uh, em empathic empathic not sure uh, and really try to steer the emotions of the reader <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, we have two practice videos. It's getting more fun the more you understand. Yeah, I, I really think once I, like, I, I'm watching a lot of YouTube videos in Korean. And, like, whenever I, I notice, ah, okay, I understand this sentence because I know the words in this sentence and so on. I, I, I recognize that conjugation of this verb and so on. Stuff like that is always great. And I think the more I learn, the more I can understand in the YouTube videos. So it will be better every time, the more I understand. So I can definitely see that. Okay, uh, let's go into the... Practice. Let's go. So Flo, uh, you don't know this part yet. Here we have our YouTube video, the practice video. And then I have my very beautiful, where is it? My typing. I don't see it. Where, where, what? <laughs> I can't believe it. Where is it? Here it is. But here, where it it fly up? You see this? You you see this text there? And then it, if I switch to the other scene where the YouTube video is bigger, it just flies out. <laughs> but I know why. I know why. Uh, give me a second. There we go. There we have it. Okay, so this is the text box I will use to practice. So I'm. there will be a question and I'm typing the answer here in this little box. Yeah, and it's always pretty hard, I have to say. So let's start. All right, let's practice some sentences. I'm going to prompt you with English sentences based on the grammar from Unit 1, Lesson 10. And it's going to be your job to try to translate those sentences into Korean. The first sentence I would like you to try is... Okay, translating. My dad has four cars. Looks I'll give you 10 easy. seconds and you can start now. Okay, looks very easy. I hope I don't make a mistake. So, I will start here with... Ah, he, he, he didn't specify which uh, formality or respect form I should use. Um, but I will just use what I like. Uh, so, joy is my. Now we need that is uh, aboji. Aboji. That is the subject of the sentence. So we have nin. By the way, I don't see where the content from lesson 10 is here 
Ah, of course, the four. The four is, yeah, we learned the numbers, of course. Okay, uh, Joy uh, Aboginin. Uh, four cars. Okay, now we need four cars. So we have to remember when we are counting things, we are using the pure Korean, Korean ones, if I remember correctly. Only if you're counting money. And one other thing that I don't remember, you would use uh, Sino Korean ones. But here, in this example, you should use pure Korean numbers, in my opinion. That would mean we need. We need a uh, net, right? Net. Um, we, we need a counter. We need a space as well. Space and counter. We actually have a vehicle counter, which is te or te. I'm not sure. And then we can put another space and use a noun, which is uh, char. And now we need the word to have, and we can't forget the particle for to have, which is e or ka. Uh, so in this case, I think we need we need uh, ga. Yeah, and then we put the verb, which is uh, ita. We conjugate it. Uh, iso yo. Okay. So let me read over it one more time. Joy Abojinin. Oh, oh, I noticed a mistake. Very nice. I noticed that in time. So the the net that I used, the number in the middle here. Basically, this one, right here. Um, that loses its last letter when it's used with a counter, so we only put ne in here. Okay, so I think that's correct. So let's see. Ten seconds. Okay, the subject of the sentence is a dad, is specifically my dad, but I'll talk about that in a second. The word dad is aboji, so I'll write that here. That's the subject of the sentence, so I'll put this here. You also... The handwriting is really special. I hope not every Korean has handwriting like that, because it's very, very hard to actually read it. If I would read that and don't know before what it would say it's very hard i just can read it now because i actually know what it's supposed to be because i i, I wrote the same sentence already but this handwriting is really not very pretty in my opinion so could put appa which is kind of a more uh you know kind of cute or colloquial way to refer to somebody's dad or your that's why i always write at pc yeah, yeah, I don't know. He just did it this way, but it's fine, I guess. Appa, I, I don't know this. I only know Opa for uh, older brother when speak as female. I didn't know that uh, Appa also exists. Your own dad, kind of like saying daddy, whereas Aboji is more, more like saying father. This is specifically my uh, dad or my father, so I'll put mm. this before it. Okay, this very a, good. That's my dad. Appa is more informed version. Yeah, yeah, he just explains that. It's like the daddy instead of father. Like, yeah, the, the casual form, basically. Now I want to indicate that my dad has something. If I want to indicate that somebody has something, I want to use ita, and I'll specifically conjugate this using the informal high respect conjugation. But Very you could possibly so conjugate this to, un to any of the other conjugations that you use, as long as it matches up with the correct formality for I here. 
Now, if I just wrote the word car in here. Oh, Flo, I, went... uh, I hope you're listening right now. Um, I have one question, actually. Maybe you can answer me. So he just said that you can use like, obviously there are different conjugations for the verb, but you, uh, for this, he didn't specify which I should use, so I can use any, but it has to match with the I in the beginning. So for example, if I do the, uh, the informal conjugation, so for example, I think uh, iso, just iso, without the yo. Then I I would use uh, na in the beginning instead of jaw for I. So he, he said the conjugation has to match with the formality of the I. So like every conjugation needs to use jaw or na and it's always the same. Uh, but like a few days ago, I had someone in the stream here, a Korean, I think, uh, who said a sentence and he, they, they didn't match. He, he used uh, simnida, which is like the most formal high respect conjugation of the verb, simnida. But he also used na for I. And for me, I learned this doesn't match. You, can, you cannot use simnida and na. Yes, sadly, it is, it is mixed often. Okay. But but you learned it, it that way as well, right? If you use uh, simnida, that's high formality, so you should use jaw as I, right? That's like the official rule. But some people just ignore it. Is that, is that how you learned it as well? I mean, I even asked that Korean speaker, I, I asked him, I said, hey, why are you using na with simnida together? It's, it's, it doesn't match formality. And he said, no, no, it's, it's high respect, simnida, but you can't have low respect for yourself or you don't need high respect for yourself or so. If you're speaking about yourself, you can always use na. You don't need, like, you don't disrespect yourself. You can always use na, it's fine, but... Simnida is the conjugation that you should use high respectly if you're talking to someone you want to use high respect. So it's a bit weird. No, I heard Imnida with jaw is weird. Imnida and jaw is weird? So for what? How you use jaw then? Only with. Uh, uh, with um, <laughs> uh, yeo or yeo, just high respect for speaker and simnida for listener. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah, and he uh, yeah, and he basically told me the jaw. You you can always use na. Because you you can't have like low respect for yourself. If you're speaking about yourself, you're the speaker. You can't have low respect for yourself, so you can use na just fine. But if you respect the listener, you still can use uh, imnida. So that's what he said. And I, I didn't learn it that way. I learned they always have to match. It, it, it doesn't matter. Like it, it's it's all both for the listener basically. Even if you are, if you respect the listener, you should use jaw, even if it means I, and it's about the speaker. But you should still use jaw if you respect the listener. Th that's how I learned it. But yeah, I guess yeah. I guess I should uh, also ask some more Koreans and have like a big sample size of opinions. Okay, but now I will continue. So far, uh, everything is uh, correct, I think. For I here. 
Now, if I just wrote the word car in here, if I just went like this, this just indicates that my wait, what? What? Ah, chaga. Okay, the, the object particle. Dad has a car, or maybe my dad has cars. There is no real way to sort of indicate uh, whether or not it's more than one car or one car. Uh, however, if I want to indicate that my dad has four cars, I still need to use the, of course, the noun uh, ta to indicate that it's talking about cars. However, I also need to indicate that uh, that ah noun first, noun first, no. Okay, noun first. Yeah, that's a mistake I did. Okay, let's switch that around. Noun first, then number, then counter, and then the object particle after the counter. So like this. There is a certain number of cards you by using a counter. Now the word for four in Korean when I'm using it to count something is ne. However, if I'm if I'm counting something and there's a, a counter after that, I actually don't use this letter at the bottom and it just becomes ne. So if I want to indicate that I have four cars, I have to put this here and I need to use the counter for vehicles, which is de, if I want to use the counter for vehicles. So I'm going to put de here. Oh, we have another viewer with some experience. Hi, Paul Trucks. Thanks for tuning in. To be honest, when I was in Korea, hardly no one uses particles in speech. Don't stress about it. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I can see that. Uh, I am, when I learned this, um, the, the person who, the author of the lessons I learned, he also mentioned that, uh, yes, a lot of Koreans omit the particles, um, but it's still important that you know how to use them, that you learn how to use them, because in like complex sentences, even Koreans have to use them to make sure the the full context, the full complexity of the sentence is understood. So in, in, in very complex sentences, they still use particle. And to be able to understand that, you need to learn the particles. So that's what he said. But he also said that in, in, in like not so complex sentences, easier sentences, they hardly ever use it. So yes, I, I learned that. Uh, you can know how to use them. There's so many park. Yeah, I, yes, yes. It's all, uh, it's all uh, written down already. Yes. Yeah, I, I, I don't have a lot of particles so far. I just learned the, like the most common ones, like subject and object particle and uh, place and time particle like those are the main ones that i learned yeah <laughs> those are the main ones that i learned and i think those are pretty much the most common ones i guess but yeah thanks for your insight And then I'm, if anytime I want to indicate that I have something, I need to put this particle on the thing that the person has. So in is it a car? I guess so. But this handwriting, look at this. L look at how small this line is here. <laughs> Jesus. And also this line is going straight down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I see. I, I I have it. I mean, I have it here. It's all correct, I guess. I haven't studied much lately since I left Korea. I had no real reason to study since I am studying my own major. But if you have any questions, just ask me. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for the offer. I will. Uh, did did you come to the stream the first time? I, I'm not sure if I if I remember your name. I don't think so. Thanks for the follow. If you're here the first time, uh, can you tell me how did you find the stream? Because I'm always curious about that because I'm not really advertising the stream. So did you just randomly find it on Twitch or uh, did you see it on Discord? Because I'm on multiple Discord servers and in Discord you have this little 
a purple dot when you're streaming. Just randomly find it on Twitch. Yeah, that's actually most of my viewers. It's actually funny. I, I, I did not think that would happen when I started this, but I guess it happens. I guess, yeah, I have no idea how this happens because there's so many more channels with more viewers. <laughs> Anyways, so uh, thanks for tuning in and thanks for offering your help. Okay, so I think uh, I have everything correct. So the only mistake I did is uh, putting the char after the number in the counter, but the char, the noun, has to be in the beginning of the number, and like b before, in front of the number and the counter. But in apart case, from that, it was all correct. This That's whole good. sentence would read: "저희 아버지는 자네 대가 있어요." 저 아버지는 자네 대 no 자네 wait let me. The second I need to use the counter for vehicles. That the person has. So in this case, this whole sentence would read, Okay, so it's a D, Dega. Okay. Oh, oh, I, I put the wrong E. <laughs> yeah, okay, you're right. You're totally right, of course. Um, the thing is, Oh, wait, wait, uh, what am I doing here? Okay, now it's correct. Um, yeah, I, I do this mistake very often because both of those letters are basically the same for me. So it's just like 50-50 every time. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, I don't know. I will just remember when I see the words a lot and then I will remember. I, I don't see any other way to remember. I just have to learn it and it comes over time. But yeah, that's a mistake I often do. But yeah, it, I mean it's 50-50 chance. And to be honest, I, I don't even count that as a mistake anymore. <laughs> I, I, I accept it that it's totally fine to use the wrong one. For me. For me, I accepted it. I, I'm not sad if I use the wrong one. It's just like it is. <laughs> okay, let's continue. The second sentence I would like you to try is The bus will arrive at 9.10. I'll give you 10 seconds and you can start now. Okay. Okay, lunchtime here. Wait, lunchtime here? That means you are in uh, America East Coast, right? East Coast America. A center, okay. Close enough. <laughs> I thought it's after 12 already. Okay. Yeah, so if you're leaving, uh, thank you. And if you want to tune in again, I'm doing this every single day. You see the, the times in the top right corner for your time zone. So, yeah, I'm doing this every day, basically. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's do the second one now. Okay, so the bus will arrive at 9.10. I'm, I'm not even sure what this 9.10 is, but I, I, I will assume it's a time. I'm not sure. It looks like a date, but it doesn't make sense for a bus, so it's, it's, it, I will consider it's a time. I came here to learn Korean. <laughs> Hi, Cast Amuse. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome. <laughs> you don't need to learn Korean. You are very good at Korean already. Okay, the bus, uh, pause, pause. Wait, pause. No, 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 it's not, not correct, not correct. 
Okay, this should be correct. Uh, posse nin, po posse, posse nin, yeah. Uh, posse nin. <sighs> okay, at nine ten. Okay, at nine ten. Okay, for hours you use the uh, Sino-Korean numbers, so it's Gu, I think. Gu. Uh, Gushi. Gushi. Mm, ten. Ten is. Now we use the pure Korean numbers again, so that means we use I think il. Il. Pun. Il pun. <laughs> Is it completely wrong? <laughs> yeah, you you can correct me if you want. And then we need the time particle, which is a. I think. <laughs> okay, uh, now we need will arrive. Will arrive. Will arrive. Okay. Um. Uh, arrive, arrive. What is arrive? Uh, do, do, jack, do, jack, da. No, I'm, not, I'm not sure what arrive is. Something like that. Do, do, jack, da. Do, jack, da. Do, jack, da. Do, jack, da. <laughs> I'm not super sure here, but I will I will just use harder. Uh, so it will be this, and then we have core. <laughs> I think I'm totally lost here. Um, core. Koyeo. Okay. <sighs> that's what I. That's my first first version of the sentence. Let's see. I will read it again. Posse. Po posse nun. Kushi. Is the nine correct? Is the nine correct? I think it is correct. And the ten is ten il. I think so. I would I would remove the space here. And then I, I'm not sure about the arrive. This arrive here in the in the uh, wait. Here, this arrive here. This is uh, not sure. It's probably completely wrong, but the rest I, I think is correct. Okay. The way but now we will learn that it's not correct when I read the chat here. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, the very beginning was already wrong. It was the wrong consonant, yeah. Okay. Posse nun. I hope so you use the you use the pure Korean numbers. I think I learned I use the Sino Korean numbers for the hour. Did I mix it up? Did did I switch it around? Yeah, yeah, I know there are two systems, but I think I switched them around. Maybe I think I learned uh, when I when I want to say the hour, the she, I use the Chinese one. You use a natural Korean number for hour. Okay, then I switched them around. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, here it is. Uh, Korean numbers. Uh, 
yeah. So here's Sino Korean numbers. So so the like yeah Sino Korean for everything about time except the hour. So not the hour is Sino Korean and pure Korean or natural Korean is for the hour in time. Okay, so I I mix them up. I switch them around. Okay. So thanks for that correction. So we have a uh, hop a uh, hop and then we have not eel but uh, sheep. Okay. So what were the other mistakes? Pun was correct, Pune was correct. Ah uh, then it's do not uh, do not do okay do do chuck oh the last one was correct do chuck hal goeyo goeyo not goeyo okay Yeah, I, I I I confuse a lot uh, the ending, the uh, ayo and yayo. I confuse them sometimes. Ah, both correct. Ah, okay. Yeah, l l let me uh, check that again. Mm, conjugating ida. Uh, did it, it past tense, present tense, I respect. Eayo for word ending in consonant, yeo for word ending in the vowel. Okay, so if I apply this, I think, uh, oh, I, I, I put it, uh, twice of course so that's obviously wrong but i think uh, yeah this one is correct if there's a vowel in the beginning uh, in in the end of the last word uh, wait we have the future here one second future here here we have it okay koyeyo Okay, but yeah, uh, here they, this guy t uh, is saying that Koreans often use both. I'm not sure where it is, but they often use the wrong uh, or the, the, the other one, yeah. Okay, let's go back. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> what you said here, uh, this one, uh, that I had a uh, call, yeah, yo, yo, <laughs> that was just typing mistake. I, I, I know it's not uh, yo, yo, <laughs> that was just a typing mistake because I'm not like super good with Korean keyboard layout. Okay. Just say bus in Korean is the very simple bus. -su. There is bus no real way to, to say the bus or a bus. You just simply start the sentence using the 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 word bus, and that's the subject of the sentence. So I'll put this here. It will arrive, and if I want to talk about something arriving, the verb to arrive is dojakata. So I'll start writing that here. However, I want to conjugate this into the future tense, and you learn how to do that uh, more specifically and more commonly in lesson nine in the previous lesson. So I'll, I'll use that way of doing it. Uh, I'm going to add this, followed by this, and followed by this. And there are other ways that you could do it, but this is just one particular way, and probably the most common way that you would indicate something like this in the future tense. But right now, this just says the bus will arrive. It doesn't indicate that it will arrive at a specific time. If I want to indicate that it will arrive at a specific time, because it's a time, I want to put this 
uh, particle there to indicate that it will arrive at this time, but I don't know the time yet. I need to indicate 9, 10 in this space. And the way that I would do this is put the number 9 followed by she to indicate that that's the hour. Yeah, okay, he's and then using the numerates. Number 10 and then followed by boon to indicate that that's the minute part of the time. And this A should actually be attached directly to that. So let me move that over so it's it's clear. That should actually be here. This whole sentence would read, The third sentence I would like you to try okay. is, My younger sister is 15 years old. I'll give you 10 seconds and you can start now. Okay, my younger sister is 15 years old. Let's do it. No, that's not... Wait, what? Okay. Pretty good pronunciation. Yeah, well... Yeah, I think... I'm not sure, but the thing is... Uh, speaking the video is... I think he's Korean. Actually, no, he's not Korean. He's not Korean, right. But he's living in Korea for a long time, I think. Okay, my younger sister. Okay. Uh, Joy, uh, younger sister is... Uh, uh, yo, uh, yo, yo dong seng. I think Yo Dong Seng Dong Seng is correct. Yeah, I think it's correct. Uh, Yo Dong Seng um, in subject particle is fifteen years old. Okay, is fifteen years old. Um, if you're speaking about Age. You use uh, pure Korean numbers or natural Korean numbers, and when you have older persons after thirty or forty, you 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 use uh, Sino Korean numbers. So in this case, I use uh, the pure Korean number. So I will say, I will say, uh, il. Wait, I have to think. Um, il tasot. Il tasot, I think. Okay, let, let me put it down here. Il, il tasot. Il tasot. Annyeonghaseyo, Dextro. Il tasot. Um, I work for a Korean company. Not ill. Ah, not ill. Wait, wait, wait. Not ill. Um, not uh, yol, yol, yol. See, I need to think about it a bit longer, and then I have it. Yol. Like this. Yol tasot. Yol tasot. Okay. Um, okay, that's 15. Years old. I'm not sure about years old anymore. Did I completely forget it? I just, I just saw it again. I have to think about this. Yeah, uh, uh, Dextro, Samsung, uh, Samjong, right? I, I guess that. <laughs> uh, okay, years old, I need to know, years old. Years old. I will figure this out at some point, but I need some time. 
I need to remember what how you say H. Ah, uh, I can't believe I forgot this. I have to remember. And I will not read the chat yet. I, I want to remember myself. I, I, I will like use one more minute or so. And if I don't get it, I will read the chat. Hmm. I had this example sentence. My girlfriend is 26 years old. I, I can't believe I forgot this. I basically just learned it yesterday. AI is uh, na Nai is H, I think. Nai. But doesn't help me. Ah, okay, damn it. I will just say you write wrong, not edit. Okay, okay, wait. My younger sister. Joy. Yo dong sing in. Yo ta sot. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't see a mistake in the things I, I wrote not so far, but I still need the years old part. So, yeah, I will look at it very briefly here. Uh, 10... Uh, counter, where is it? Green time. H. Sai. Sai. Count of ages, Sai. Okay. That's what I forgot. Okay, let's go back. Um, 15 years old. Uh, uh, Sai. No. So. Sai. So Sai. Um. Ida. So uh, Ida just need to conjugate. Hmm. So we need consonant in the end means yayo. Okay, wait, we need space, we need spaces. Here we need the space there. Okay, so this, I think this should be correct. Joe. Yotong Sengin Yotasot Salieo. Wrong. Ah. <laughs> okay. My younger sister. Cho, Cho is correct. That's Choe is correct. That's my. Okay. Younger sister could be. Could be incorrect. Younger sister? Okay. Yo dong. Yo dong sing. Yo dong sing. Okay. Uh, yo dong sing should be correct. Particle in. Should also be correct. The, the, the particle, the subject particle here. 
And now, yeah, then the number is probably wrong. The number is probably wrong. Yolta so. Yeah. So yeah, yo. Sal yeah, yo. Yeah, I I don't know what the mistake is. To be honest, sadly, I don't know. Number okay. Then the end is is wrong. The. Oh wait. This. Okay. 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 Hmm. No, no, I don't think I see it. Yeah, yours wrong. Ah. <sighs> yeah, yeah, of course. I mean, we just had it in this... Uh, in this before we just have it and i just read it when there's a vowel in the end you use yeah yo but if there's a consonant in the end you use e a o <sighs> yeah that was that was pretty stupid <laughs> oh man yeah consonant e a o vowel yeah yo can't be that hard Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I'm fine. I'm fine. Ah, yeah, yo is also possible. Yeah, yeah, yo. That's interesting. Okay, I will uh, continue the video, but uh, thanks for correcting. <laughs> okay, the the word younger sister in Korean is yodongseng, yodongseng, and actually dongseng just sp actually in general just means younger sibling, but yo means. Uh, female and nam dong saying would mean younger brother because nam means male uh, and it's mine just my younger sister just like I have my father so I'll put the same to ui before that that's the subject of the sentence mm -hmm. so I'll put that here now I want to indicate very similar to the first sentence when I was counting cars I had to use the counter day in this case if I'm counting years of age anytime I want to count years of age I want to use the counter sal and specifically, so I'll write that here. Specifically, uh, I the number before the counter, in this case, the number before the counter was four or ne, but in this case, the number before the counter is going to be 15. So I want to write the word 15 using uh, these Korean style of numbers. So yar means 10 and tasot means uh, five. And really what that is, is just 10 and five, which is 15. And this is the way to say 15 years old. And I can't just end a sentence like that. So whenever you want to indicate that somebody is a certain age, you want to write a sentence like this and then add either to it. And I'm going to obviously not just write either here. As we've been focusing on conjugations the last few lessons, I, of course, want to conjugate this. Of and course. there's a bunch of different ways that you can do it. But I'll just because I've been doing the informal high respect in the first two sentences, I might as well do the same uh, here. So it would look like this. And this sentence would read, The fourth sentence I would like you to try is... Okay, so um, it's six minutes after seven, but I will uh, finish this video. Uh, maybe it's, it's only halfway through. <laughs> We're only halfway through the video here. Mm, but I think I will do it anyways. Let's go. We bought... Two glasses of drinks, and okay, drinks, I can do this. You could also translate that maybe to beverages. 
There's a common word that sort of very commonly beverages. translates to beverages or beverage, beverages. I'll give you 10 seconds and you can start now. Okay. Um, we, uh, Uri, we, uh, is a subject, so Urinen, Urinen, we bought two glasses of milk. Okay, so two, uh, not milk, drinks, uh, two is, uh, we, we count something and it's not money, so we use pure Korean, so we use, uh, uh, tool, we, sh you can use tool, wait, which is, uh, this one, but for one to four and 20, I think you remove the last letter. So it's two. If you have a counter afterwards, the counter is gla glasses. So that is, uh, I think, Jung. And now we put the noun in front. So we put it here. Here. And then I will put uh, to buy, to buy, oh wrong you say already, damn it. <laughs> the Jung is wrong, right? Two glasses of drinks. Tujang. Tujang. Hmm. I I I will do the rest that I know first, and then I will uh, check what the mistake could be. Uh, so to buy, to buy, I think is is it Seda? Seda? Is that to buy? Seda? Seda? Uh, of course it's not conjugated, but I think... I think Seda is to buy. So I will conjugate it now. In a past form, bought, not buy, bought. Mm. S oh, it's actually... is it... Uh, that's a weird one. Sosoyo? Can that be can that be correct? <laughs> it looks very weird for me. Sosoyo. Wait, wait. I, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. It's irregular, I think. Hmm, actually, no, I think it's correct. Bypassed words. Right, uh, bought is uh, buy in past tense, yeah. Hmm, okay. Uh, I, I I still need the word for beverage, and I have no idea what it is. I have to look it up. I completely forgot. So, I'm going to go to Papago. Yeah, Imnusu. Okay. We need we need a particle still. We need a particle. So I I put the particle now. Particle should be. Il order. I think like this. Okay, I'm ready. 
I'm ready. <laughs> Urinen im Yosu. Yeah, I'm ready. Too wrong, okay? Okay. <laughs> I think. Uh, I think this. Wait, wait. Let me try something. Ah, never mind. So I think the Jung, Jung is wrong. Tu Jung. No, no, glass, not bottle. No. Um, glass is. Glass is only. Yeah, something you drink out. Like yeah, I don't, I, I don't know how to describe glass. <laughs> yeah, but it's not bottle. It's I I don't have a glass here. I can't show you, but it has a big opening. It has a big opening, like this, big opening, and then you drink from it. That's a glass. <laughs> the only word I I learned for bottle is uh, uh, "byong." Pyong. Hmm. I, I I learned uh, the the counter for glasses very recently. Wait, l l l let me check. Let me check. I was pretty sure it's it's that uh, ah Chan. Okay, so very close, Chan. Uh, Byong, I I I learned uh, Byong as a water bottle, but here this is what I learned. This one, this here. Yeah, that's what I'm try that I was trying to do. That that was. Yeah, it was close. It was very close. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Very close. Not not Chang, but Chan. Okay. Okay. The rest. Yeah. I I guess the the verb is still wrong, right? The uh, sosoyo, sosoyo. Hmm. Not sure. So so yo. So so yo. Could be could be correct. Okay, I will I will just uh, continue the video now. Yeah, yeah. So I I want to say I want to do it like this, okay? I, I'll tell you what I want to do. Sida and um, and uh, also you. This is what 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 I want to do. Sida is ah Sida is right or use right or use hmm what's to buy again is it is it just this one if not I don't think I remember or wait maybe it's also something like uh Pida or maybe Pida S something like that I'm not sure I'm not sure I don't remember Pida Pida maybe P 
could uh all wrong <laughs> okay i don't know i don't know i i give up sada okay ah i can remember uh uh, uh p sada and sada expensive and cheap p sada and sada with that i can remember sada to buy but i know i know uh, p sada for example is uh, like this p sada p sada that's expensive but i can use this to remember yeah, yeah. p sada and sada is like this but to buy is only sada okay Okay, then I will conjugate that now. S uh, sas sasayo. Sasayo. Sasayo? Yeah, sasayo. Okay. Okay, the subject of the sentence is wrong, which is... <laughs> oh my god, I make so many mistakes. Sada. Ah, of course. Asoyo, right? Asoyo. Asoyo. Sa and asoyo makes sasoyo. <sighs> ah, so many mistakes. Uri, I'm going to indicate that it's the subject by putting this here. Perfect. Uh, one block. One byokada. I want to use the verb to buy, which is sada. I'll write that over here, sada. However, this happens in the past tense, so I want to add this to it. And I'm going to not uh, do it in this formality, but I'm going to do it in the informal high respect, which would look like this. So that's going to be the last <laughs> word in my sentence, and I'll put that over here. <laughs> Wrong. Uh... Ah, one. What, one block hada, okay, not one, okay, one, one, one block hada, yeah, okay. <laughs> Hi, Aaron, seven Aaron. So, right now this just says we bought, and there's a whole bunch of stuff I need to put in okay, the Okay, since that we you already uh, told me everything, I will skip this part a bit beverages but we didn't just we had to use the counter here sa to indicate that we're counting years of age but if i'm counting glass the word for two whenever we're counting something is dur however if it's followed by a counter in this case it is you don't want to use this final letter here mm -hmm. so i need to add the object particle to this and this would be the final sentence the sentence would read i need to read more i will read the sentence now uh, it's, I have it correctly written down right now, right? Cho, yeah. Sasoyo, okay. Uh, Urinin imnyusu tujanil sasoyo. Tujanil sasoyo. Tujanil sasoyo. Urinin imnyusu Tu janil sasoyo. The fifth sentence I would uh, two glasses of this, and this would be su tu janil sasoyo. The sentence would read, Urinun umnyo su tu janil sasoyo. The fifth sentence I would like sasayo. you to try is. Okay, last I sentence. Taught. Wait, is there even a last one? Even more? 
Wait, let me check. Okay, that's the last one. Okay. Okay, my girlfriend is waiting. But I, I need to finish this. Okay. I taught that cl oh that's that's a very difficult one. Mm. Chon in. I actually don't know these words. <laughs> Yesterday uh OJ OJ No, I I taught uh, to teach teacher. Yes. Um uh Chonin OJ You don't need the A for it, right? For yesterday. <sighs> Taught the class three times yesterday. That class. That class. Que. Que. Swap. Swap. Kusswap Kusswap B Kusswap Swap Swap It's it's weird to pronounce. Mm, I think it's correct, anyways. Okay, I yesterday that class we need a space there that class. Um, three times, three times, three times, uh, uh, say, say, ponje, say, ponje, say, ponje, I think so. Say ponje. Say mm. ponje. Or to teach. To teach. Uh, to teach. Um, I have to remember that. Uh, ka, kare, kare, ka, kare, chi, kare. Kare, chi, da? Not sure. Similar to this, I think. Kare chida. Kare chida. Kare. Not sure. Okay, then I conjugate it. Taught, so we need pet form again. Um, Chisoyo. Kare chisoyo. Kare chisoyo. Chisoyo. Kare chisoyo. Chonin oje ke suobu. Oh, it's se. Yeah, se. Se ponje kare chisoyo. 
what? I, I'm not sure about this one actually. I, I will I will put one thing here. I'm not sure about this one. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> the the verb to teach is probably wrong. Kade uh, kade chida is probably wrong. Three wrong. Oh. Okay. That class. Okay. Mm. Now still three wrong or maybe two wrong? I I changed or J. Or J. John in or J wrong. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I, I know one mistake. I, I realize one mistake. This one comes here. Uh, object particle comes after ponje and not after suop, right? I think that is one mistake. But the rest, I'm not sure. One mistake is probably the verb in the end. Kade chida is probably wrong. But yeah, the rest, I don't know. So I will, I don't have a lot of time left, so I actually have to <laughs> four. <laughs> yeah, sadly, I, I don't have time left. I need to, uh, I need to check it quickly now. Um, okay. Yeah, so this is wrong. Like this. Okay, no, now uh, one less mistake. One, one correct. Uh. Ah, ah, okay. Yeah, I know this one is wrong, but I... Okay. And I need to teach Kare Chida. Oh, it's correct, actually. Kare Chida. Kare Chida. Ka Ah, I, I see, I see. Um, one second. Chi. Chi or hmm, chi or ch ch chi or. Is it like this? What about this? Chio, chio soyo. Thank you. 
I don't know the rest. Ponje. Well, maybe. Maybe this one. Now. This one. But I don't know more than that. Yeah, so I, I sadly have no time there. I, I need to I need to finish it. One dash three, all different groups of kids, and you might have to teach the same lesson to those different groups of kids. That. Yeah, I, I need to finish. My my girlfriend is waiting. And say to class. Pan refers to the group of kids. So, for example, if you're talking about your class, for example, if I am in. Nanin or J. So without particle, okay. Or J. K. Suabil. So. Ah, okay, yeah, okay. You said uh, uh, saw pon, but where's the J? Ah, we don't need J. Wait. Three times. Yeah, of course, we don't need J, of course. In the class 1-1, one, one, and or there might be another class which is 1-2, and this would represent grade 1, class but number 1. This would represent. Great. I think the, the object particle, the U, comes after the pon, right? It should it should come there. One. Two up re represents to you. Eliminate it and it becomes se. So mm. this would say I taught that swap, and I guess that's possible. But in this case, you probably would have had class. Say I. Hmm. I I don't understand why the particle comes after the uh, swap. To be honest. Ah, because yeah. Okay. Do, I understand. I understand. Okay. Yeah. I, I I understand. All good. And the rest is the verb is actually correct. Okay. The verb is correct. Okay, uh, then I have to leave now. So, uh, thanks a lot for your help, Caster Muse. And yeah, I need to leave now. So, sorry for the abrupt end, but if you get trouble when you learn Korea, yeah, I, I will ask you. Tell me on Discord. Okay, thank you. Gamsam <laughs> nida. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I, I have you already. I know. I have you on Discord. So, thank you. Uh, okay, so I need to leave. So, bye-bye and annyeong.